Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Sons of Liberty playing cards from Dan and Dave. All right, so basically the theme for this deck, going back to a time when uh, America was still subjects of the king across the ocean. And so the Sons of Liberty, they operated in the shadows and they would leave secret signals, they would pass hidden messages, and they would meet in the dead of the night. Uh, the deck features a bunch of different symbols from the Freemasons. Uh, you got the Liberty Tree in there and a whole bunch of other secret images. Uh, a few of the many heroes of the war, uh, you can see them represented in the court cards. And it just gives you a chance to become acquainted with some of the brave men and women who risked their lives for our country's freedom. The tuck case is done in a flat matte black all throughout, and you have this really cool like copper foil stamp uh, going all around for the ink. The front of the tuck case says, Made in America, the Sons of Liberty playing cards established in 1965. Now, all that font artwork, that was done by a gentleman named Jeff Trish, and he is a letterer and uh, that is his contribution. This side says, designed by Jeff Trish, and the other side says the D&D Playing Card Company. The bottom has some ad copy about Dan and Dave, and the top says Sons of Liberty. You also have a skull tax stamp uh, seal right there in the tuck case, and the back design is the back design of the cards. The inside tuck flap is a bunch of stars, and the two tiny tuck flaps appears to be the Liberty Snake. Well, that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their retail stock. They do have an air cushion finish and a modern emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish from the United States Playing Card Company, you can click the link below in the description. The back design of this card is done in a really dark gray on white. You have a nice thick white poker border there as well. Um, the top and bottom, those symbols, that's the Freemason symbol. Uh, in the middle there, you've got a couple of eagles and then all of this is surrounded by the all-seeing eye and some banners and it all just comes together to make for a really beautiful back design. This deck does come with two extra cards. You're going to get a Dan and Dave uh, signature card and you're also going to get a card that is an ad card and explains a little bit more about the theme behind the Sons of Liberty deck. You're also going to get two full-size jokers. Uh, both of them say joker at the top. Uh, one's colored and one's done in black. Uh, this is a stock. What would this be? It would be like basically a prison or a torture device where uh, you would stick people who uh, were to be mocked publicly or to be held captive for a time being. Uh, you'd put this out in the square and their head and their hands would stick through this and they would be uh, ridiculed. <laughs> Your ace of spades is a, a large tree and it says the Sons of Liberty playing cards right there in the center. Underneath that there is the snake icon again, but he twist it up into a knot. And then underneath that it again says that they were designed by Jeff Trish and the D&D playing card company. All the pips and indice cards are completely new and reworked. They've been completely uh, redesigned. Uh, black cards are still black, red cards are still red, uh, but you do kind of have this kind of antiquing look that goes throughout. Uh, you do have some original pip placement in some of the uh, cards, as well as a brand new font in the corner. Also, like I said at the beginning, uh, the court cards, these are all uh, heroes from our uh, nation's history, whether they be Freemasons or rebels or people that just fought for the cause. Uh, you have a nice uh, old kind of woodcut look to them and uh, it really helps to enhance the theme of this deck. Well that is it for this deck review of the Sons of Liberty playing cards designed by Jeff Trish, Dan and Dave, and Clove Street Press. If you'd like to purchase your own, you can find yours at danandave.com or artofplay.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.